Walter Overcall here. You're welcome indeed to a special edition of the programme as we take a look back at the highlights of President Joe Biden's historic visit to County Mayo. In 2022, the Cahirlach of Ballina Municipal District Council, Councillor Annie May Reap invited the President of the United States to visit as part of the town's 300 year celebrations. We have the um, 2023 next year of Balana celebration 300 years. Now Balana naturally is a lot, lot older than that, but this is a chance to showcase what we have in Balana. There's a bit of the fantastic committee in, up and running, and you met some of the members this morning, and there's a lot of, of ambition for it, and everybody's invited. It'll be a year's event, so we're all looking forward to that. And we hope that our president, Joe Biden, ancestral home here in Balna, will be able to join us for the 2023 celebration. And I hope this, if this event goes out that he will see it, because I'm now extending the invitation to President Biden to come to Balna for the 2023 celebrations, where his heart is. He absolutely loves Balna. On the Tuesday when it was announced that he was coming, we managed to get all the bunting out. Our colleagues up in the Falna Costume Company, Jane up there, has been making flags and bunting galore, doing Trojan work so that all the businesses in Ballina could have the flags and the bunting up. And then every night we're hanging bunting, we're cleaning the streets, we're cleaning the windows, we're getting ready, and it's going to be a party like no other. We are so proud of President Biden. Um, it's, you know, it's it's, it's sort of surreal thing that we're related to when he's coming back to Ireland and you know you sort of have to say to yourself geez hold on a second you know, you know what's going on but it's uh, it's lovely like and you know he's such a lovely man and he's he's, he's really down to earth family guy you know orientated you know he's really family orientated and, and he's just when you meet him it's not about him it's all about himself uh, all about you like you know not about himself at all so it's great except my wife and uh, my two sisters and their husbands we went over there for St. Patrick's Day, and it was it was brilliant. Like, because St. Patrick's Day in America is, you know, it's a totally different game than here. So we went to the White House around four o'clock on St. Patrick's Day, and we were greeted by Marines playing music, and there was Irish dancing, and you know, in them with you know loads of people. It was, I was lovely. It was such a special trip. When when he was running in the elections, I put a sign in the back of my van, and uh, a local printer, Barry Williams, was having we came up with a sign of Joe Biden for the White House, Joe Blewett heating a plumbing contractor for your house. So like that took off, like I, I just couldn't understand how that, that just went global all of a sudden. So we had great crack out of that because it was in the middle of COVID and it was lovely like going to people's houses, elderly people and they'd have you out the back of the van taking pictures and you know it was great, it, that was great for them and so the media at the moment is just it's crazy. You know, but sure, look, we'll take, it, we'll, we'll take every bit of it. A lot of work has been done over the last few weeks, but especially this week. And I must compliment everybody, the council number one, because they have, they have handed over all their buildings and uh, spent a lot of time with uh, the, Ameri uh, the American uh, police and whoever was here to see this thing through. This is a huge thing for North Mayo. It's probably one of the, the, uh, the biggest things that has ever happened in Bellevue. The amount of work that's been put in there all week, erecting platforms, getting lighting, flags, just cannot see it from here, but last night it was lit up. And it was something that you, you'd never see in the area. It was a spectacle to see. I would like to welcome him to Valna, um, but even if I don't, I don't really mind because the main thing is that we put on a show here, that uh, everyone has a great time here, that the speech goes well, that everything um, is presented as well as it can be, um, because we have a great town here, a great people here in County Mayo and my priority for this visit is that we do everything we can to make sure that we um, look as well as we can as a, as a county, put our best foot forward and that that um, welcome that's so well uh, known in Mayo terms uh, is afforded to all the visitors. So there's a huge amount of logistical efforts underway the last uh, 10 days. Uh, it centres around uh, a stage and catwalk for the president to walk out on and it's flanked by large screens that will beam the speech to the people on Emmett Street and across on the bridges. There will also be other big screens uh, placed throughout town on Pier Street and Market Square so if there are uh, an excess uh, volume of uh, people who do come to town uh, then they will be catered for on big screens so they'll be very much part of the atmosphere. It's a fantastic occasion here. 
and you've sampled a lot of it this morning. The town is awash with people, washed with colour, and very well looked, it's very well looked after. It looks perfect, I'm sure you'll agree. A lot of work has been done by our volunteers, our council, and all our um, tidy towns and the clean-up group. So much work went into this. This is a great day, actually, for Ballina, a small town in the west of Ireland, but for the whole of Mayo as well. The world media is here, from Japan, China, not to mention the US and the UK. All over the world, they've all descended. He is, after all, the most important president in the world. And we're just looking to be ready to... We'll be meeting him this evening on that platform. But as you can see, he, I think he, he's better when he's meeting people. He just wants to meet everybody. He doesn't want. To, it must be a nightmare for some for his security because he wants to talk to everybody all along. And he's just a friendly, friendly man. He's a, possibly in 2016. You saw for yourself. He was just fabulous. And his relations here. He's meeting them now in about an hour as well in Castlebar. And I think that. And he's very, very. He's very close to all his relations. But the things that he mentions Ballina when he's on the world stage. This to us gives us so much pride to hear that in, in, in US TV when he's on CNN. It gives us so much pride. The moment arrived when Air Force One touched down at Ireland West Airport. One of the first dignitaries to meet the President was Cahirlock of Mayo County Council, Councillor Seamus Weir. It was uh, an extremely important day. Uh, I have to say it was one of my biggest occasions. It has to be, obviously, you know, but uh, pretty, pretty uh, nervous this morning, I have to say, because uh, naturally we, we, we don't know what's the end result and wondering about the weather and all that, but you know, it is just, just fitting and beautiful. It, it, it was raining just beforehand, but when he arrived, the sun just came out. And when he opened that door and when we were in line to, to meet him, it was, it was a great, great feeling. Yeah. And what was it like Air Force One taxiing uh, on the runway there at Ireland West Airport? It was, it was something else to see, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, uh, with well, such a security around it as well, you know. We're all inside, uh, lining up like ducks in, inside behind the scenes. And uh, even with the, with, the, with the American ambassador as well, you know, or not the, Amer but the Irish ambassador, you know, and, you know, the dignity was there. So, but it was, it was, it was, you know, we were taught again to line and to, to line up for him. So it was then naturally everyone had to have a few words on what he'd say to us and all that, you know. Yeah. And what did you talk to him about? Well, you know, when he came over to me, he spotted the chain, obviously, and he said, he said to me, he said, well, local politics, he said, is, it's, it's that the hardest of all. He said, I did it myself in my time, he said. And you know, it is, it is the hardest of all, he said, because uh, that's where people, you walk on the ground, and you know, that's where. And I did, I said, I said they're even phoning me at the moment. I, I hear my phone going off, I said, but it's, it's on silent, you know. And uh, you shook hands with him. So yeah. you must, it, it must be unique and very special because I, you must be the first Cahir look of Mayo County Council to meet a, a sitting president in County Mayo. Well, obviously, I think it is, and uh, you know, I, I just had me line as well. I just said to him, you know, welcome to Mayo, um, welcome to Ballina. I told him I was from Ballina, and I said, you know, you know, you're welcome home. You know, that's kind of my line was because I suppose uh, we're just talking about beforehand. It's it's important to say these things to him, you know. But you know, the thing I, I felt about him was he got, he was talking, he was in a big debate with me. But I, I, I what I felt about him, he was so heartfelt, you know. With the formalities completed at the airport, the presidential motorcade made its way to Knox Shrine for a private visit. The presidential motorcade then travelled to Castlebar for a visit to the Mayo Roscommon Hospice. I think it probably goes back to when he came to turn the sod, as you know, Larita, um, our colleague, is related to President Biden and she has formed a very strong friendship as well as just being related to him. But he came to turn our sod in 2017 and he promised to come back and see the hospice. We're very conscious that, yes, he's the president of the United States, but he's also a father who has lost his son in a hospice at an early age. And Bo's name is on, the, um, is on a plaque at the entrance to the hospice building. So when he arrived and when he got out of the building, it was, we were all very emotional, including um, President Biden himself. He had just come from Knock, so he had met the priest that who had given his son his last rites. So he was explaining that to us and we just, we, we, us and him found that very in, uh, incredible. It, it was just unbelievable that that had happened. Um, and then his sister and son were with him 
Larita, of course, was there, and our chairman, Mike, and we were all, we were all extremely emotional. In particular, when he went to see the, um, to see the plaque, um, and you know, this would be the first time he would have seen it in reality. So yes, it was a very special moment. It was a very private moment, and it was a very emotional moment. And he couldn't have been kinder, you know, at the end of the day, this is, regardless of the office he holds, he's a human being with very high moral values, very high family values, and he is genuinely full of compassion and care for everybody around him. With President Joe Biden's visit well on the way in County Mayo, we spoke to Governor Martin O'Malley. It's such a delight to be here uh, and to be able to see President Biden come back to Ballina. It's a curious thing, isn't it, that those of us that are Irish Americans who were never born in Ireland and only if we're lucky have visited a couple to few times uh, to say that he's coming back. But in a sense, when President Biden speaks tonight in Ballina, he's carrying with him uh, 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 a lot of Irish American memories and a lot of Irish American good wishes because in a sense uh, that returning home for him is a bit of a returning home for us, at least to the homes of our great grandparents. Fulcher Asher, welcome back to part two of the program. One of the many highlights of the President's trip was the presentation of a brick from his ancestral home in Ballina. This is the fireplace of the original cottage of Edward Blewett, built in the 1820s. It's an unusually large fireplace, so the large bricks, the number was meant to retain as much heat as possible in the cottage, because as you know, bricks retain heat. And in that cottage then, there was a family of eight, was it? Yeah, he had eight children that all went to America the one day. That's one of the bricks that came out of his fireplace, the original fireplace. This is an extract from the minutes of the cathedral in 1828. And we quoted the extract verbatim from the minutes. An entrepreneur, before entrepreneurs were ever heard of. <laughs> and. Uh, he supplied <coughs> 27,000 bricks to the building of <coughs> excuse me, the Ballina Cathedral in 1828. It was a huge consignment of bricks and he got 21 pounds and 12 shillings in those days, which would be equivalent in today's money of 2,500 pounds or euro. President. How are you? 100,000 yes. welcomes. Yes. Thank you. Ireland, Mayo, and especially Ballina. This is the brick for your ancestor home, 200 years that's ago. One of the 27, made by your great, great grandfather. Whoa! One good. of the 27,000 that's over in the cathedral. This is a 200-year-old brick. was handmade by Edward Blewett, brick manufacturer. He supplied 27,000 bricks to the building of the Ballina Magnificent Cathedral in 1828. The fireplace from where this brick was extracted is all the remains of Edward Blewett's original cottage in Garden Street in Ballina. Yeah. This is really, really wonderful. You're yes. speaking outside the cathedral. Tonight. 27,000 bricks of your ancestor holding oh, up hold the roof. That. Oh, and, that's incredible. Yeah. So we're very delighted that uh, President Biden chose to come here for um, his visit to Ireland. Um, he came down. He was very much interested in learning about his roots here. Um, and we had done the research back in 2016, which connected um, President Biden with Ballina. We were able to join the dots there for them. Um, so he's very much interested in coming here to the North Mayo Heritage Centre to talk to our genealogist, Brendan Walsh, about that research. On the day, we were here uh, waiting for him. So it was um, a bit nerve wracking, uh, not gonna lie, Secret Service were in and out. Um, we, had, we heard the helicopters going over, so they landed in Gorton Abbey and uh, then we heard the car pull up outside so it was nice and quiet in here as we waited um, and then he just came in behind the the barrier there um, and shook hands with us and he was very nice very friendly um, and he did have that real Irish charm that um, people talk about and um, so I just thanked him for coming welcomed him to the North Mayo Heritage Centre um, and you know thanked him for being a friend of the centre because we have actually met him 
an honorary member of the North Mayo Heritage Centre. He's our first overseas uh, friend and uh, we're calling him our friend for life now. I was fortunate enough to be asked to make a piece to be presented to President Joe Biden on his visit to Mayo. And um, this is what I made. It's a, a bowl from the wood, from the, the original beams from the St. Muradex Cathedral in Ballina. So the timber is 190 years old. It's a piece of Baltic pine and uh, the wood, it came from the Baltic States when the cathedral was being roofed. And uh, I was also fortunate enough to be here in 1999 when the cathedral was re-roofed. And I was a subcontractor to uh, Michael O'Malley and Sons were the main contractors and I was the subcontractor to do the roof on it. So I salvaged some of the wood out of the cathedral. I made a lot of pieces so far and I donated a good few pieces to the restoration fund of St. Mildred's Cathedral. So um, it's lovely wood to work with. You can see the grain, it's so tight and close and um, it's great to be able to recycle some wood. And it's nice to be able to say that you presented a piece to Joe Biden, our President of America. Another important aspect of the presidential trip was a high-powered U.S. delegation who met with Tonish de Michal Martin and Minister Derek Kaleri at Mount Falcon Hotel Ballina to discuss U.S.-Irish relations. We had a very high-profile delegation with them and we were lovely to be able to host them in Mount Falcon along with the Tonish de Michal Martin. Um, they were blown away by Mount Falcon, blown away by the welcome they got from Avalon and Allen and the team out there. Uh, the food, the best of Irish food. We also had good discussions about the US-Irish relationship and how we build from the visit, uh, how we build on it in, in the new phase that we're in now. So it was a very good visit all around. And then they all came into um, to the speech and they were stunned. Like They don't see this in America, the kind of crowd, the kind of welcome the president has got. Um, and they've gone home and have been in contact with some of them since with very many happy memories of Ballina and of Mayo. With the stage set for the arrival of the first ever President of the United States to Ballina, thousands of people lined the streets of the town and were entertained by the academic, the Coronas and the legendary Irish group, the Chieftains. I got a call from the, from the um, American Embassy and uh, uh, wondering if uh, we would would do the same thing we did when he was vice president. He was, uh, as, if, as you remember, yeah, he, he was here. he played here in the pub on uh, when he was vice president in uh, 2016. I think it was, yeah. So this they they, they wondered would would was it feasible? Uh, you know, would we do the uh, do the honours? And uh, because they weren't quite sure because of uh, Paddy's uh, demise passing. Uh, so um, anyway, uh, I got in contact with everybody and uh, they were all, uh, you know, delighted with the whole idea and uh, as I was. And uh, uh, so we said we'd go for it. And uh, we felt it might be just a nice tribute to Paddy Maloney, who, who like, founded the band, just his band, he founded 40 years ago, 1962 or whatever. So we thought we'd give him a, a sort of a salute as well. As you know, he's, he's a big fan of the band. He's been, that's the reason the Chieftains were here in 2016, because he had... Um, Requested them. He, well, yeah, he, he, we were, he was saying that he was, we were one of his favorite bands, and uh, when he was talking on stage here, uh, to prove his point, he took his phone out and he played one of the tracks from one of the Chieftains' CDs that he had on his phone. He had three CDs on his phone, so. Yeah. Oh dear, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good fun. Isn't it great to be here in Ballina to welcome for the third time the President of the United States? He came, yeah, he came here as Vice President, he came here privately with his family, and now he's coming back to Ballina as President of the United States. I'm so pleased that President Biden has the same love for Ballina that I do. You have two presidents who love Ballina. What else can you ask for?
Taoiseach Leo Bradker will speak next. After Taoiseach speaks, I hope that you give a rousing, powerful, Western, soulful, homecoming welcome to the 46th President of the United States of America, President Joe Biden. Have a great night. President Biden, Ambassador Cronin, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, welcome back to Mayo. A county very close to my heart as well as your own. And thank you for choosing to make this such a big part of your visit. Mr. Mayor, thank you for welcoming back to town. And I also want to thank the Taoiseach for his remarkable hospitality. I've never been more optimistic, and I've been doing this a long time. I've never been more optimistic about what we can achieve if we stick together and stick to our values. This is a time of enormous possibilities. And united by history, heritage, and hope, and made most of all by courage, Nothing is beyond our reach. Every time I walked out of my grandfather Finnegan's home in Scranton, Pennsylvania, he yelled, Joey, keep the faith. Then I'd hear someone from the house yell, no, Joey, spread it. May God protect all those who serve the cause of peace. And oh, one more thing. Mail for Sam! Mail for Sam! What a welcome the President received in his ancestral home of Ballina, a historic visit that will be cherished and remembered for years to come. Then it was time for the presidential party to return to the U.S. survey. Until next week, Slonga Fall.